72 years ago, a brutal battle between the United Nations and Communist forces was fought at the Chosen Reservoir during the Korean War. For 17 days, about 30,000 U.S. and U.N. troops faced approximately 120,000 enemy combatants. For their bravery, during intense fighting and severe weather conditions, 11 Americans were awarded the Medal of Honor. Eight of them are buried or memorialized at Arlington National Cemetery. Marine Corps Sergeant James E. Johnson fought against enemy forces disguised as friendly troops and, after being ordered to withdraw, provided enough cover to allow his unit to successfully pull back, saving the lives of many. He was declared missing in action and his remains have not been recovered. Marine Corps Staff Sergeant William Windrich confronted an overwhelming enemy attack and, despite sustaining multiple wounds, held them back while his unit was able to withdraw. He then evacuated the wounded and continued his assault against the enemy attack until he succumbed to his injuries. Navy Lieutenant Thomas J. Hudner, a naval aviator, was supporting U.S. Marines trapped by Chinese forces when his wingman, Ensign Jesse L. Brown, crashed and was trapped in his burning airplane. Hudner crash-landed his own airplane in rough terrain to help save Brown. He remained with Brown, struggling to free him despite the fire, the freezing weather, and the enemy presence, but was forced to evacuate at nightfall. Brown's remains have never been recovered. Marine Corps Captain William Barber commanded a company responsible for protecting a mountain pass connecting two groups of Marines. Despite being heavily outnumbered and wounded, Barber and his men successfully repelled intense enemy attacks for five days, allowing thousands of Marines to withdraw. Marine Corps Captain Carl Sitter led his men to repel intense enemy attacks despite being outnumbered and suffering heavy casualties. Even though he was wounded in the face, arms, and chest by grenades, Sitter refused evacuation and led his company to successfully defend their position. Army Lieutenant Colonel Don Carlos Faith Jr. led his battalion on numerous attacks for five days, personally leading the charge and exposing himself to enemy fire. By putting himself in a position of great danger, he inspired his men to attack the enemy despite exhaustion and freezing temperatures. Faith was later killed and was declared missing in action until his body was identified in 2012. Marine Corps Major Reginald Myers assumed command of the Army and Marine Headquarters during a critical point in the battle and led an aggressive counterattack against well-entrenched and concealed enemy forces that greatly outnumbered his men. By putting himself at risk while ignoring hostile fire, Myers directed infantry and artillery attacks over 14 hours in sub-zero temperatures to ultimately restore his unit's perimeter. Marine Corps Lieutenant Colonel John U.D. Page engaged in fierce fighting for 10 days and, after his convoy was attacked by a superior enemy force, exposed himself to enemy fire and fought his way to the enemy strongpoint. By taking them by surprise and inflicting severe casualties, he sacrificed himself to single-handedly disrupt the attack, allowing his convoy to regroup and fight off the enemy combatants. All of these actions led to these men being awarded the Medal of Honor. The stories of these eight service members represent the bravery and tenacity shown by American and UN forces during the Battle of the Chosen Reservoir. We honor their service and we will never forget their sacrifice.